We're in the Art Institute of Chicago, and we're looking at Edward Hopper's Nighthawks from 1942, this classic American painting that's usually seen as an expression of wartime alienation, of the notion of separation, and it really is about separation. Look at the warm light in that diner, and compare it to the exterior. You get a sense of the quiet conversation that might be taking place inside, but we have no access to that. In fact, there's not even a doorway to let us into this restaurant. There's an immediate implication that we are alone. It almost starts to feel frightening. There's a way that the painting functions as a kind of prism that amplifies or intensifies not only the sense of silence, but also the way in which light fills this space. Look at the way in which the warm light of that interior filters out onto the sidewalk, creating a series of shadows and areas of light that seem to lay over each other and create this complex set of rays on the sidewalk. And the way in which the light hits the glass as it turns around the corner of this building, leading us to that sharp diagonal across the street where that lonely cash register stands as the only recognizable object. But you can imagine life around it at another time of the day, but now it's all eerily silent, and it makes us look up at those windows for some sign of life, but we don't see anything. We can see blinds that have been pulled down by somebody at some point, but seem now completely abandoned. We can imagine perhaps the inhabitants asleep, but there's no presence, no human life. And then we just want to know, what are these figures doing together? Did that couple come in together? Did they meet here? Why is the male figure sitting alone? Why has he wandered into this diner so late at night? What are they talking about? It's all very open. There's not a clear narrative here at all. The only clarity is the sense of isolation, the sense of alienation. And I find this especially interesting if you think about the year in which this was painted, 1942, the, the height of the Second World War. In some ways, the cities were emptied out. There were a lot of people that had gone overseas. It was a time of great fear and anxiety in America. That's right. This was really the height of the violence of the war, and nobody knew which way the war was going to turn at this point.